Hi everyone, and welcome to another tutorial video. Today we'll discuss how to execute PowerShell scripts in your local Windows environment using Octal workflows. Microsoft PowerShell is used for many different use cases, such as system management, networking, and identity management. For identity management, PowerShell is commonly used during the user's lifecycle operations. It allows IT administrators to automate on-premise operations, such as defining the logon hours for Active Directory users. After an event happens, such user created at Okta, Okta will invoke a webhook configured using Azure Automations. Using a schedule flow, the solution tracks the job status at Azure and updates the information in a workflow table. All the configuration on how to set up both Microsoft and Okta can be found at the setup guide. Now let us look at the flows that compose the solution. The main flow is the set logon hours. Right now, it's not set for any particular Okta event, but you can easily update this so it's triggered during, I don't know, user created. Once this flow is invoked and executed, we make a call to the webhook URL that we configure in Microsoft Azure. We parse the response body, we retrieve the job ID, and we store the job ID information into a workflow table. The reason why we keep the job ID information is so that we can track the job status. You can update this particular flow, and if a job failed at Azure, or even when it's complete, you can notify administrators. The cleanup flows here are responsible for deleting old entries from our Azure Automation Job Tracker table. Steps on how to configure this particular flow can be found at the setup guide. Now that we understand what each flow does, let us perform a quick demonstration to see the solution's final result. In this example, the system created a new user at Active Directory, and the logon hours is still the default value defined by AD. After executing the set logon hours flow, the user logon hours will be updated for what is defined on my PowerShell script. I'm logged in in my Active Directory. Let's look at quick uh, at Kirk here. If I check the account, check log on hours, I can see that Kirk by default can log on anytime. And this is not what I want. I want Kirk to only be able to log on at particular times. So let me comp Kirk's some account name information here, go back to Opta workflows and execute my set log on hours flow. There you go, a new entry was created at my table. If we look at the table here, we can see that the job is queued at Azure. Let's update that information by executing our job status flow here. Okay, let's go back to the table. The job now is activating at Azure. Let's run that one more time. The flow is on a schedule, but I don't want to wait, so I'm executing it at help. Okay, the flow is now completed. Let's go back to Active Directory and let's check Kirk. There you go. My logon hours are now updated. The, the idea behind here is just to show you the capabilities of Octal workflows, how you can track and how you can execute PowerShells from Okta workflows in your local Windows environment. The same formula here that you find on the setup guide can be used for many different use cases. In the setup guide, you can find the specific place where you can change your PowerShell code to anything that you need, basically giving you the power to execute any use case. There are many other workflow templates out there and Okta is always open to new suggestions. Thank you for watching this video.